Hello, so YouTube. Uh, I don't know if YouTube or if you guys can hear me, but uh, this is the first uh, personal video of mine that I'm putting up. Uh, I've had some friends ask me about my video arcade collection that I got. It's pretty small. Uh, I'm working on this game room in my house right now, so uh, this is just to give you guys uh, just a quick look at the stuff that I've collected. You know, posters and knickknacks and what have you. Excuse the cat, by the way. Uh, this is my wife's uh, Miss Pac-Man arcade cabinet. It's a reproduction that I bought for her for, uh, I believe it was her birthday or Christmas. I don't know. You know us guys are not very good with dates. But um, it's a multi-arcade machine. It's got over, uh, I think it's like 48 and 1. And uh, yeah, it's really great. You can't have, I have no complaints about it. But um, I'm also going to be going over in depth uh, these uh, Japanese arcade cabinets that I have. As you can see, I've got uh, a little mini Neo Geo arcade machine here. I've had bought this back in uh, 2001 um, from eBay for about 250 bucks, and it would cost about 100 bucks to have it shipped. Uh, I got it from a place called Arcade Infinity. I haven't seen him sell any new, any other games on eBay lately, but um, yeah, I've always wanted a Neo Geo arcade machine, and since I don't have much room, this uh, this cabinet made perfect perfect choice. So um, right now, let's see, I've got Super Dodgeball in there, Samurai Showdown, uh, Mark of the Wolves, and I believe Puzzle Bobble. And um, as you can see, I got this room. Uh, just decked out with just posters of games and stuff that we've collected over the years. We're big into the old 8-bit scene. We love our old classic games. Uh, my wife's into dolls, and I'm into speed racers. So this is just for the kid in us, you know. We don't have any kids yet, so we figured we'd uh, try to recapture a little bit of youth. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, over here is my uh, Street Fighter corner, more or less. Uh, some of the figures I've got, posters, and just random stuff. And uh, this cabinet also is uh, quite a gem, one of my favorites. It's the uh, Capcom uh, Impress cabinet. It's a, it's a I think 29 inch cabinet or 29 inch monitor. I mean, um, in a little while I'm gonna go into I'm gonna open her up and show you guys the insides of it, uh, the button layout and all that stuff underneath the wiring. So, and just more stuff over here. Oh, my little Pac-Man shrine, as you can see. Got a lot of Pac-Man stuff. That is my original lunchbox. I had that since uh, first grade. And um, I grew up playing Pac-Man. I got the original Pac-Man board game right there, still sealed. Uh, anything Pac-Man I, I love, so I try to get my hands on it whenever I can because it's pretty cheap. And uh, some more stuff up here. Posters. What have you. And this is another cabinet that I'm currently working on. It's the. Uh, it's made by Capcom. Uh, I believe it's the, called the Capcom Mini Cute. This thing was totally beat up when I bought it. Uh, I had a local friend of mine uh, in Austin named Fubar Duck. He was letting it go pretty cheap, so I uh, got a hold of him, went, drove up there, and uh, picked it up. And stripped it down from the, all the paint off, everything. Took all the insides out and redid everything. And I'm also going to open that one up in a little while and show you the guts on that one. Don't mind the Pokemon stuff. It's not mine. Honestly. It's not mine. And, uh, just some more stuff here laying around. Weapon Lord. Oh my god, I love that game. Anyway, so, yeah. So stay tuned. I'll, uh, I'll post up another video soon, uh, with showing off the cabinets themselves. And all the insides and all the good stuff, okay? I'll talk to you guys soon.